Hey everybody, my name is Matt. I'm going to be going through how to add a PV system into a proposal. First thing we want to make sure is completed is that we have all the data loaded into our lead. We have our rate tariff is pulling through into our proposal. And now it's time to add solar PV. We're going to click add PV array. You're presented with three options. Okay, the first option we're going to look at is the NREL PV watts simulation. Once we click on that, we're gonna see uh, a bunch of different TMY stations, which is typical meteorological year station, weather station. Um, and then this one that says recommended is the closest weather station to your project location, okay? So you're gonna click recommended. Now it brings you in to the PV array one design, okay? Now the first things first, we have PV array type is simple and detailed. So simple, is not gonna be specific to manufacturers, model numbers, it's just very high level and it's simple. Detailed, okay, is where you can actually choose a custom list of hardware um, manufacturers for solar PV, for your inverters, racking type. So this all has to be pre-built in your company settings before you can use this option. So it's pretty simple to do. Just ask your account manager or your onboarding manager how to build custom equipment. They'd be happy to set up a meeting and jump in and show you how to do this. For the simple, after we define um, the cost, which is either a total dollar amount or a dollar per watt, okay? So this is actually a really nice feature. So we can put in you know, $3.50 per watt, okay? And then we can put in or a total uh, cost per watt or total cost for the project, okay? But we need to put in our DC power rating. Now, this can be just typed in, so we can say that this is a, you know, 100 kilowatt PV system size, and then it just goes right up into, hey, how do we price this? You know, if this was $2.50 per watt, we'll automatically read that wattage and then give us our total final price. You choose between premium, standard, or thin film uh, modules and some pretty basic racking types, okay? So it's all pretty high level. But the main question comes in, how do I know which system type is appropriate? So on the right, we have our power rating optimizer, and this is a very powerful engine. And what this does is it looks back at our consumed energy that we loaded in, the rate tariff that we chose, and it looked at the location of our project. And it provides at the very bottom, multiple system sizes, okay, all in kilowatts, ranging from a 10% offset of consumed energy all the way to a 100% offset of consumed energy. On the left, we have multiple categories that help guide our users as to what system might be the most appropriate. We have blended savings, energy savings, demand savings, total electric bill savings, annual generation, and exported generation. So let's go ahead and choose a system here. It's kind of in the middle of the road. So this would be an 80% offset. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And we're gonna hit save. And just like that, we have scaled and selected our solar PV. It's now imported into energy tool base. We have our Array cost, right? A dollar per watt, DC power, AC power, generation, tilt and azimuth, or annual generation, and other basic assumptions about our PV array. If you need to edit, you click back into the array. And for example, we can change our wattage. Okay, so we selected a pretty big system size. So we can drop this down. And then we can say maybe this is $2.50 per watt. We can change our tilt and our azimuth to be more appropriate to that specific array size. And then we hit save. And just like that, our PV system is, is sized. And if you have to add an additional array onto this array, you just click add PV array. Okay, we're gonna go back into PV watts. We're gonna click recommend it. And then we're going to do the whole thing over again for a separate array, part of the entire PV system that may have a different tilt and azimuth angle. 
If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to your account manager or your onboarding manager. Again, my name is Matt. Guys, thank you so much and have a great day.